An overview of the Gigabyte Aorus Fi32U. Has the mid-range gaming monitor reached its peak? Among Aorus' slew of new gaming monitors, the Fi32U may offer the best compromise between sober specs and desirability. Large 40-inch and above monitors are always going to be niche markets, while sub-30-inch monitors represent rationality instead of aspiration. This 32-inches monitor sits in the middle, and should be on the list of most gamers, but does it live up to the hype? According to Gigabyte, the Aorus Fi32U has an IPS panel, which means it should be smooth for motion, good for color reproduction and decent for contrast. However, this monitor actually has an SSIPS supercharged version which promises splendid color and furious speed. So how does that actually work? Gigabyte says the Aorus Fi32U has an IPS panel, so it should work well for motion, be good for colors, and have decent contrast. However, this monitor actually has an SSIPS supercharged version, which promises splendid colors and furious speed. As far as color goes, we were impressed. Although it only supports 90% of the DCI-P3 color gamut, this might put off designers looking for extreme color accuracy, but everything looks great. With 350 nits, it doesn't have the brightest rating, it's certainly not HDR, but it's sufficiently bright for office work, general use, and gaming. However, the relatively low contrast rate of 1,000,000,000 can result in details, and enemies, getting lost in shadows. Switching to the monitor's FPS mode brightens up dark areas, but the black equalizer feature works best at destroying picture quality so you can see what's hiding in the shadows. Additionally, it's great for working in the office. A crisp and clean Windows 10 desktop is displayed, and small fonts are readable without distortion. It's ergonomic too. It comes in two pieces and clips together with no tools. It tilts, swivels and rotates to generous degrees, and can be raised or lowered by a full 13 centimeters. It even has a handle on top if you want to carry it. There are two HDMI 2.1 ports, so you can play 4K at 144Hz, and 120Hz for current gen consoles. There are two DisplayPort 1.4 ports, two USB-A 3.0 ports, plus USB-B and USB-C. This can be used as a KVM switch, so you can keep the keyboard and mouse connected to the monitor and use them on different computers, handy if you work from home or switch between work and home PCs sometimes. This gives you access to game-friendly features like crosshairs, PC component monitoring stats, timers and picture-in-picture, -picture, which is nice for following walkthroughs and finding streams you might be playing against. Gigabyte's Aorus Fi32U has an easy-to-assemble stand, the base looks like an Australian ninja's boomerang and uses a hand screw to attach to the monitor stand. The monitor stand attaches to the screen using two clips. Gigabyte's Aorus Fi32U monitor stand looks like an Australian ninja's boomerang and attaches with a screw. The monitor stand attaches to the screen with two clips. The stand also features Aorus Fusion RGB lighting, which complements the panel's RGB lit angel wings. While it may not appeal to many people, it does look pretty cool in a dark room. Additionally, it features Aorus Fusion RGB lighting, which complements the panel's RGB lit angel wings. While it may not be for everyone, it does look pretty cool in a dark room. With Aorus other gaming monitors, there is a bunch of gaming features built in. For example, Black Equalizer destroys picture quality and contrast, making enemies and shadows easier to spot. The on-screen crosshairs are great in games like Call of Duty, Hardcore Mode, when you don't have iron sights or scopes available. Picture-in-picture, -picture, or picture-by-picture, -picture, mode is great for following a walkthrough video while playing a game. If you're that way inclined, you can also use it to locate your enemy if they're streaming at the same time. There are six axes of color controls for red, green, blue, cyan, magenta, and yellow, plus the usual preset modes. As a result, we've become big fans of the KVM function, which lets you use a keyboard and mouse to switch between, say, your main PC and work laptop, using the USB-C and USB-B ports. Last but not least, there are many display options including countdowns, timers, hardware info, and technical details. The joystick makes everything easy and intuitive. A display port 1.4 port is on the underside, along with two HDMI 2.1 ports, two USB-A 3.0 ports, a USB-B port, a USB-C port, two 3.5mm audio jacks and an IR remote. HDMI, display port, USB-C and USB-B cables are included. It's hard to run a full 4K resolution at 144Hz, a display needs to support DSC as well as display port 1.4, which is only found on some really expensive RTX cards. The HDMI 2.1 ports will allow for 120Hz refresh rates, which isn't too bad and is good for new consoles, which can't go faster anyway. The screen has an HDR setting, but it was haphazard when we tried it. Turning it on could bleach out the whole screen. Turning it off could do the same. The whole dynamic range of this screen, 
with its mediocre 1,000 colon 1 contrast ratio, can quickly make itself evident when watching both bright and dark content. Details quickly go missing. This can be addressed when gaming by setting the black equalizer, which lights up dark areas to make enemies easier to see. The FPS preset mode can also do this. With 32-inch, proper 4K resolution, there can be multiple windows fully opened at once, which is great for productivity. Unlike some gaming monitors, the Windows 10 desktop renders crisply and clearly, and it's comfortable to work on all day. Even though it's not the best technical performer, if you want a big, 4K screen for gaming and work, you won't be disappointed with the FI32U. The Aorus FI32U is a fully featured, large screen, 144Hz 4K gaming monitor that won't break the bank. Despite its poor contrast performance and absence of HDR, it is good at displaying gaming content.